Hello everybody, this is Chris Mackey, welcome back, and this is your uh, 16th tutorial on Honeybee Energy Modeling, and it is the second one in which we're going to be looking at constructions, at, at, at uh, wall and roof and floor and, and all those beautiful types of constructions uh, in, in the Open Studio Library. So all right, so you guys remember in the last one that we uh, we you know sort of showed a way to search through the uh, through the big library of, of uh, 400 you know 436 different constructions that you can pick and how to narrow down things so you get you know a sort of wood frame wall or or you know or a type of roof as I've added in here. You got, I, I added this in after the last video for you guys who are who are following along. Uh, but yeah, but you can see. So I changed both the 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 wall of my of this parents my parents house that we're simulating here and the roof to reflect the sort of uh, a climate zone four uh, type construction, which is required by code uh, because because my parents house is in climate zone four in the United States. So all right, so in this one we're going to be like delving more deeply into into specifically. Um, and actually, I, I know I grouped this all together for you guys for for ease of uh, of of looking at things in, in the previous file but in this this one we're going to actually now look at what exactly is this this construction this this wood frame construction that uh, that we've changed all the walls of my family's house to be and like what what exactly are the characteristics and what are things like the r value and you know how much heat is it, is it actually stopped from flowing through the walls and so so there are a few components in what there are a few components in in Honeybee to sort of help you do this to like sort of de, de, you know, deconstruct what the what the actual uh, file type is of the construction, and they are all going to be under our, our our this this constructions tab, this six tab in Honeybee, um, and you guys can see that uh, so they're they're mostly we're going to be covering mostly um, uh, you know the, these components in the, in this. Uh, in this uh, particular video. So there's a decomposed energy plus construction. And if you guys drag and drop this onto your canvas, you'd see that any of the constructions that you can take from the library, I mean, you guys remember, you know, remember that we have this big long list of, of, all, of all possible constructions and you know we search through it and we narrow it down with keywords and things that we want for standards to get to this but then there's also then we want to know actually what what this is is you know what is what is this composed of this exterior wood frame wall and if you plug in this construction that you select out from here into the construction name you'll see that you will get uh, out of this it'll it'll decompose the construction for you so you'll get actually the, the materials that the construction is made out of and you get sort of well, well, a set of comments that sort of tell you what those materials are. So this is sort of saying that okay, the first layer in the construction is wood siding, which is being used on on the outside, and then the second layer is a wood frame wall with an insulation. Wow, it actually even tells you the insulation there, right with the material. Um, and then on the layer three, it tells you that okay, on the interior wall we have a half, uh, one half inch of gypsum, uh, you know, wall board, which is usually a pretty pretty standard. And you guys can see, so what, what these actually are, these materials that it's referring to, are actually things that you will also find in, in, the, uh, in the construction library here. Um, and actually, you know, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drag and drop another component so that we don't sort of mess up what we made previously. But if you drag and drop the, uh, you know, another copy of these call from EP construction library components, you'll see that, okay, well, we look through all the possible constructions that we can take out of here, but we also get a large range of different materials, like, like, like the gypsum board we just saw, um, like stucco and concrete and all these different types of insulation. So we get, I mean, as a total of 250 different types of materials. And, uh, and I'll show you guys in the, in the next video how you can take any of these materials to make your own custom constructions. But right now I'm kind of just drawing a parallel to show you that you guys can take any construction that already exists in the library and, and use this component to see what the materials are that make it up. Um, and you'll notice that we get a few other things out of here. We get things like a U value. Um, so yeah, you'll, you'll notice that, I mean, I mean that's in, so we get to give you U values and R values in both SI and IP. So, uh, so I mean, so probably, I mean, I don't know, I guess I've, I've, even though I love the metric system so much, I mean, I still, so many people in this country use, uh, use IP, uh, U and R values. So I know, I mean, like an R10 values, like is a, you know, is, is, I know that that's, you know, a somewhat decently insulated wall. I mean, usually I know in my climate zone, I, you know, that actually that's a little bit larger and you'll get a sense of what actually the R value means. But essentially, I mean, if you guys aren't familiar with it, the higher the R value, 
the more resistance to heat flow across it. So that means that means the higher the R value, the more insulation that you've packed into the wall. And usually that means a better a better sort of energy performance because you're not going to lose as much uh, as much as your heat in the winter to the outside, or you know, or get as much heat from the outside flowing through your wall when you're trying to air condition it in the summer. Um, so yeah, so generally you want higher R values, but but you now you know that you can kind of you know select any of these constructions and see what the R values are and see if that actually is you know is what matches what what uh, what you'd like to for the energy simulation. Because the R value is usually that's that's the big thing that can really influence the energy simulation is if you have a different R value. As you can imagine, like more insulation would can really change things around. Okay. So all right, so that's showing that you can decompose the construction. But now also I can show you guys another thing. You can not only decompose constructions, but you can decompose materials too. So there's this honeybee decomposed or honeybee, yeah, decomposed EP material. And if you guys drag and drop this onto your canvas, it's it's again also under that constructions tab. You can see that maybe we'll pick out, maybe we want to know a little bit more about this wood frame wall insulation, that this this material that's uh that's you know that that is in this this I mean it's a primary you know material that's making up this wood frame wall that we're using so why not why not deconstruct it so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull uh, one of our classic uh, honeybee item selector components out and I'm gonna you know I'm gonna hook up the materials of this to here and I'm gonna select out of this out of the you know it gives me the three options I'm gonna select the wood wood frame wall insulation and I can simply plug this material into this decomposed material and now actually you know I'm just going to control C control V this whole set of panels here oh, control V well what's happening here maybe I didn't read my control C control V there we go and uh, and now you know I'll take the names I'll put the names out here the values um, and uh, well actually the name isn't as important the name is exactly what we're putting in there so maybe that's actually not as important maybe we'll just take yeah we'll take the values here and the comments uh, comments over here and so this is I mean now now we're actually getting very deep into like how energy plus is actually thinking of these constructions and these materials and you know in the same way we can take the R value here of you know of just that material and you can see that most of the insulation of our construction is coming from this wood frame material so all right and you can see that this this uh, insulation material has a bunch of different properties and actually it's probably most useful maybe I'll put these two side by side that's usually the best way to, to sort of view it so you see you get we get a list of eight values for each of these these things and so we're getting values for you know a material type it's you know it's just material but you get like a sort of you know each material has a roughness has a thickness in meters it has a conductivity which is you know related to that R value has a density, has all these things that you can really get down, and has a you know, in thermal absorptance, solar absorptance, all these different things. So you can really get down deep and really you know try and understand what all these materials are doing. And you can use this decomposed material. I mean, you know, we could use it for anything in in this in this library. So say like say like we wanted to you know get concrete here. So we can do. A, I mean, you guys remember from the last one, you can do a keyword search for concrete. Um, I'm going to hit enter. And all right, and we get a bunch of different types of concrete, but maybe maybe we'll just select out the uh, the eight inch concrete. Uh, uh, yeah, let's. I mean, we'll do the eight inch thick concrete for inch concrete. Uh, heavy weight. That's what H W stands for. And I guess where there's a ref ref building. Two of those are probably the same. I'm I'm gonna guess. More mostly the same, or only slightly different. But you can select, uh, you can you know type type in that and just get just that material out of there. And now, if I you know I can decompose this material using the same sort of component. If I copy Control V, Control C, Control V it, and I'll hook up that material there, and I get you know okay different types of roughnesses and thicknesses and and conductivities, and you can you know you can sort of start to compare across materials using this method. Um, and really, really kind of getting deep, and and just and just kind of, sh I don't know. This this is more meant. I mean, it, it's kind of tangential to to our, the actual building of our energy model. Uh, this this video, but I mean, I just want to show you guys that there are tools here for. Um, yeah, for really breaking down the constructions, we're breaking down the materials, and really starting to understanding them, uh, and understand them, and debug them if you need to. Um, you know, because sometimes you may realize, like, oh my gosh, wait, that was the conductivity of my material. Like, I need something different, and then you can sort of find something else for the library from the library that's similar to that. 
or you can make your own construction. And that's what the next video is going to be on. We're going to cover making your own constructions. And then the following video is going to be on making your own materials from basic properties. All right, guys. So that's it for this one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.